One of the things that I really liked about Fredonia was the location there. It's such a great environment to focus on your studies. Fall season in Fredonia is absolutely stunning. Sunsets in Lake Erie. Lake Erie is only um, a couple of minutes away from campus. Sunsets there are just truly mesmerizing. Um, but if you're more of a city person, you could go to Buffalo, which is only an hour away from campus. Fredonia sort of has this reputation of being in the middle of nowhere, but it's really actually close to Buffalo and Erie. Cleveland is only two and a half hours away from campus. Since it's right on the thruway, it's easy to get there. Piano students always went to concerts in Buffalo. We even took a van of piano students to Pittsburgh to a recital when I was a student. One of the most exciting and fun memories for me was going to BPO and Cleveland Orchestra, seeing soloists like Mitsuko Uchida, Sarah Chang, violinist, clarinetist Anthony McGill, and so many other great soloists. And the fact that I was able to go see them over a weekend. I think that was just so amazing and inspiring for me. Fredonia is also just a great community to be a part of. Whenever I meet another person who went to Fredonia, whether they graduated in 1985 or 2019, there's immediately a sense of kinship there. One thing that's super important to me is a sense of community. And I found that community here at Fredonia in the piano area. For me, having a group of students that were always willing to listen to you made a huge difference in my playing confidence. Growing up, I always wanted to be somebody hiding in the back of the classroom. But Fredonia's sizes for classes are a little bit smaller. And not that it forced me to kind of be at the forefront of everything, but it definitely pushed me to be a little bit more there. And because of that, I was able to flourish. I was able to succeed. One of the beautiful things about it is that you're not just a student in a sea of students, you know? 